Hi, this is Brendan from Watto Training, and in this tutorial, we look at the question, how should a learner driver move off efficiently in an automatic car whilst protecting the drivetrain? Before we delve into that question, let's first of all look at automatic transmission. Automatic transmission is a multi-speed transmission used in motor vehicles that does not require any input from the driver to change forward gears under normal driving conditions. This is an example of an automatic gear layout. There are four forward gears, one, two, three, and D, and one reverse gear, which is noted by the letter R. Let's also look at the definition of the drivetrain. A car's drivetrain includes components that transmit power from the engine to the wheels enabling motion. It typically consists of the transmission, drive shaft, axles and differential. Moving off efficiently in an automatic car whilst protecting the drivetrain involves a few straightforward steps. These ensure smooth operation of the vehicle and help in minimising wear and tear. Here's how a learner driver can do this. Before starting the engine, make sure the parking brake is engaged and that the gear selector is in P for park. Adjust your seat, mirrors and steering wheel as necessary to ensure you have full control and visibility. The seat controls include moving the seat forward and back, the seat controls to the right and the headrest. We've also got the mirrors, the central mirror, here's the controls for the doors and window controls, the driver has set up the right mirror, we've got the left mirror set up. Starting the engine, with your foot firmly on the brake pedal, start the engine. Ensure all necessary dashboard lights go off indicating that the car's systems are functioning properly. While continuing to hold the brake pedal down, shift the gear selector from P, that's park, into D for drive. It's important to ensure your foot is on the brake to prevent the car from moving unexpectedly. Once the car is in drive, you can release the parking brake. Some cars have a manual lever or foot pedal for the parking brake, while others have an electronic parking brake which may disengage automatically when you start moving. Before moving off, it's crucial to check your mirrors and blind spots for other vehicles, pedestrians and obstacles. This will help you move off safely. Gradually lift your foot from the brake pedal. To increase your speed, gently press the accelerator pedal. The key here is to avoid jerky starts or excessive strain on the drivetrain. You must give way to all other vehicles and signal for at least five seconds when you drive off to the road from a parked position on the side of the road or in a median strip. Once the car starts moving, progressively press the accelerator to increase the speed smoothly. Jerky or rapid acceleration can put unnecessary stress on the engine and transmission. As you move into traffic, adjust your speed according to road conditions and speed limits. In an automatic car, it's easier to focus on road conditions as you don't need to change gears manually. By following these steps, a learner driver can move off efficiently and safely in an automatic car while also caring for the vehicle's drivetrain. The emphasis should be on smooth operation, avoiding abrupt starts and stops and gradual acceleration, which are all beneficial for the longevity and performance of the car's mechanical systems. Thanks for watching. This has been Brendan from Watto Training.